everyone. I'm gonna be showing you today what is in my gig bag. And this is a bag that I take with me on all gigs that I am using my pedal heart for. It pretty much just has all the essentials that I need at a gig and for emergency situations regarding the heart. So let's get started. The first and most important thing is a tuning key. I have to bring this with me everywhere I go because every time I move my harp, I have to tune it. And I sometimes have to tune it between rehearsals. The next thing I have here is a little makeup pouch, but there is not makeup inside this. Inside, I actually have a tuner pickup, which leads me to the next thing that you will not see in this video because it's actually on my phone is a tuner. Really, really important. I do not tune by ear. Most harpists use devices. I actually use the Peterson Eye Strobo to tune and it's great, really, really accurate tuner. And this plugs directly into my cell phone. So then I can clip this onto the back of the harp. The purpose of this is so I can pick up the sound of my instrument without any background noises, say if an orchestra is warming up or if I'm at like a wedding and there's loud background music playing, this thing comes in really handy. Next, I'm gonna show you a few odds and ends that I have in my bag. Pencils, of course, pens. And I also have like a little notepad for taking notes if I need it. I also carry business cards because you never know when you need to pass out your info. And of course, band-aids. You never know when you might cut yourself. That's happened to me, especially in the dry winters. I mean, you just don't want to be, you know, bleeding over your instrument. I also carry a nail clipper in my bag. This is actually not for my nails, although I should also have a nail clipper for my nails in my bag, which I don't right now. But I actually keep this handy for clipping string ends. If I need to replace a string when on a gig, I can just clip the access off. I also carry an emery board with me because sometimes calluses turn into blisters or calluses start peeling off and I need to file the calluses down because sometimes they get caught on the strings or they just make for a really awful sound. This is a snare drum key and I got this because one time, one time, only takes one time. I forgot my tuning key going to a gig. While I was in the car, I realized, oh no, I left it at home because I usually keep my tuning key off to the side when I'm practicing. Someone once told me that snare drum keys actually fit on the back of your pegs. So when I got to that gig, I remembered this fun fact and went straight to the percussionist and asked if I could borrow their snare drum key to just quickly check the tuning. So I keep this now in my bag just as an emergency. This was a lifesaver. It was inexpensive to buy, so now it just lives in my bag for those just in case moments. I also carry picks. I have several different types of picks here. These are soft felt picks and they're kind of thicker. These are lifesavers when I have gigs that require tons of really, really loud glissandos. <laughs> especially like musicals and Christmas shows. Generally the heart parts are all glissando. So if, if I just took my finger to all of that, I'd easily get a blister, even if I had a nice callus built up. So these are lifesavers um, for rehearsals and sometimes I use them for shows. These are harder felt picks. They're a bit more firm. These are great for those singular mauler attacks where you need a really loud sound, but you also want it to be a little bit softer than say if you were plucking with a guitar pick. <laughs> I also have guitar picks of various firmness. So I have some really flimsy ones. Honestly, I barely use these ever. Maybe just to showcase how different picks sound on the harp. And then I have a really thick guitar pick. And again, I use these for singular attacks. Also really handy is I keep a quarter in my bag it is for contemporary uses. I strum it along the wire string. Next on the list is this tiny little Allen key. I keep this for the pedals. When you're moving a harp and you're packing it up, you actually have to flip the pedals up. And sometimes where that joint is, it gets loose or sometimes it's really stiff. So I just keep this handy when I'm out of the house and might need to adjust my pedals. I keep sticky notes handy. This is for practicing purposes, but also if I need to mark specific page turns where I need to flip more than one page at a time, I mark them clips and tons of them. This is for those outdoor gigs. I have had music fly away from my music stand before. So now I just bring these to all my gigs so I can really just clip the music in place and not worry about my music flying off my stand. This is a soft cloth that I use for dusting my harp to make it nice and presentable. In my string bag, I have this little canister, which inside it is actually string ends. This is so if I break a string, I can replace the strings. You need a little stopper that goes at the bottom. Little life hack, you shouldn't ever have to buy any of these. You can actually just take an old lower gut string 
and snip it into small end stopper pieces like this. I ran out of space on my phone, so I had to stop the video. Uh, let's get back to it. In my bag, I also have a pair of lights. These are for the gigs that are maybe a little bit dark to see my music or if the lightings are all funky, like different colored lights. I just like to have something of a unified light source to be able to read my sheet music. I picked up this little guy when I was in Europe. I wonder if anyone can guess what this is. I'll give you a hint. This comes in really handy when I am moving a harp and I don't have anyone to help me. I don't know if it was obvious or not, but this is a doorstop. <laughs> kind of cool looking. Uh, you just stick it in the door like this and it actually, the rubber compresses, so it actually stays in place. This is super handy because sometimes I need a little bit of help holding a door when moving my harp. I've gotten used to moving my harp and holding doors at the same time, but sometimes this is really handy to have. In my harp bag, I also have this tiny little book. This is a string log and I've had this since my harp came to me in year 2000. Each page I've designated for one string, which are the 47 strings on my harp. And I marked down the dates that I changed strings just to know if these strings are newer or older. And it just helps me to see when I need a string change. I also carry a pair of pliers in my bag. I have a second pair that is a lot larger, also heavier, so I don't really bring it to gigs with me, but this is for changing wire strings. If a wire string would break while I'm out, they're really tricky to get off the harp if you don't have, say, pliers. So I bring these with me to get a wire string off the harp if I need to. And last but not least, I have a full set of string replacements in this bag, and I carry this with me everywhere I go because you never know when a harp string is gonna break. It is so, so important to always have a full set of harp strings on you because harp strings take a really long time to order if you ever need one in an emergency. And whenever you break just even one string, if it's not like the highest string or the lowest string, it makes it really hard to play the instrument with that string missing. It's not like that string's missing, I can just play around it. It really throws you off. So really important to bring a full set of strings with you on every gig. And that wraps up everything I have in my gig bag. I'm so curious if any harpists watch this. Uh, I'm curious to hear what you put in your gig bag and why. Let me know in the comments. And I hope this was helpful. See you later.